Does Destiny suck? So I want to talk about the current state of the game, how I feel about it. Um, I want to know what you guys think about it as well, um, so make sure to let me know in the comments. But um, overall, at least on the PvP side of things, just because I can't really speak on behalf of the PvE side of things, because I don't play it, frankly. Um, the PvP side of things has gotten pretty stale. Um, the game feels very boring, it feels very slow, and I don't mean in the sense of like the pace of the game, it just feels slow in terms of... You know, things don't feel fresh, things don't feel new, mostly because of the fact that if you want to win in the game, you have to use, like, four different guns, basically, um, at least at a, at a higher level, and those guns are, if you want to know, AS Luna, the Matador 64, or Palindrome, um, in terms of the AS Luna thing, um, and then Last Word, or a, and a Sniper Rifle of the LDR variant. Um, I use LDR the most because of the air ammo capacity, but... Um, those are the base of the four or five guns I use if I want to win, and that's basically the only four or five guns I see because of skill-based matchmaking um, and uh, you know playing mainly being a rumble skirmish player because six isn't really very fun for me. Uh, you know it gets very stale, it gets very boring, and I think in order for the game to really shine and really you know quote unquote get fixed, not you know not really, but you know what I mean. Um, they they need to have more variety in what's a good or efficient weapon to use at the time because I, I feel that like the hand cannon as a weapon is always going to be good just because of the way it functions, the, the how much damage it outputs in one trigger pull, the fact that you can use it in the air, probably the best out of any other primary in the game um, or primary archetype in the game. Hand cannons are the meta and they will be for a long time unless they get like some serious changes to them and or they you know frankly take them out of the game just because the weapon is just so versatile and so consistent even when even in the state that they are now with the ghost bolts and stuff um you know they're still the top weapon in destiny pvp i would say that and put in those higher rate of fire pulse rifles which arguably they're more consistent but they aren't as good at close range and you know those are the two primaries you ever see um and those are the two primaries that can really or the two only primaries that can really compete against a shotgunner at the highest level or even a sniper at the highest level um, because the others have just a, the the others being scout rifles and auto rifles just have a way too slow time to kill even in terms of the faster or the highest rate of fire auto rifles um, you know th their time to kill is way too slow scout rifles are really only a long range weapon and destiny is at a very strange meta in the sense that longer range weapons are at a severe disadvantage because of the way the movement is in the game and the way shotguns are, not that shotguns are overpowered, but just because nothing else can really compete with them. I made a video on that before, um, but yeah, I don't think shotguns are overpowered. I honestly think shotguns are fine. Um, I think the majority of the good side of hand cannons are fine, so the AS Luna archetype, and even the last word I think is okay. Uh, I think just for those, they need to get rid of the ghost bullet issues or whatever. Um, but the rest of the weapons of the game, to me, feel way too weak. That's not fun, you know what I mean? It's it's fun when they first change the meta, and you get to try all the new guns, everyone's experimenting, but after that, once everything sets in, um, you know, there's like, I would say, four top guns that everybody's gonna be using, at least at the higher level. Um, and you know, there are times when you wanna play, and you just wanna screw around with your friends, where you're using like, no I'm beyond a sniper rifle, or red death, uh, you know, just just guns that get, get, make you have a good time, but then there's other times where, you know, it, it's no fun to lose, so you're going to want to use a good loadout that gives you success and brings you success. Um, but I think what they really need to change to the game is just more things need to bring you success and give you success, even on the special weapon side. Um, I think a huge issue is that Matador is such a fantastically perfect shotgun, at least in the current meta, that, you know, why would you use anything else? Even the Party Crasher like, kind of pales in comparison to the Matador just because of how consistent it is, how good it is, how much range it has, you know, it's ridiculous. And especially at the high, higher level, if you're using a Party Crasher against the Matador, you're going to lose a lot, at least of your 1v1s, at least, you know, shotgun v shotgun, which is not good. It shouldn't be the only consistently good shotgun. There should be at least, I would say, two to three more. And I'm not asking for, like, every gun in the game to be super perfect and equal because that's frankly pretty close to impossible um, unless they really change up the fundamental like mechanics of the game so 
you know, I'm not asking that, I'm just asking for more variety in the game to keep things feeling fresh, feeling fun. Certain archetypes within certain types of guns should be just as viable as other archetypes and other types of guns. Overall, I think the game is okay right now. This also could be because I've put like thousands of hours into the game and I've been playing since beta and all that kind of stuff. Um, that I'm getting tired of it, at least right now, but um, because I'm sure if you're like a newer player or even like a Rise of Iron new player, you're still having a fantastic time with the game. Because, it, you know, the game is fun at its core, it's just, for playing this long, at least for, you know, I guess, this is a terrible term, but like a older fan or a hardcore fan, quote unquote, you know, they need to have things for those people too and service their older fans as well and to keep things fresh for them. Um, because. And I'm not trying to undermine the newer players, but we were here first. Um, so, you know, you need to have stuff for the new players for sure. Bring them in, make them feel welcome, make them feel, you know, happy playing the game. But also keep the game fresh for the people that are going to be playing every day for a while. I don't know. Those are just my opinions. Um, I think the game, regardless of what happens to it in the hopefully December Crucible patch, I'll probably be back right into it then. Um, but right now I'm taking a little break just because I'm tired of using... AS Luna in the last word over and over again. I think they just need to have more interesting activities like Iron Banner just fall like flow in. Even like the Queen's event that happened way back in year one. If that was like a reoccurring monthly thing alongside Iron Banner, that'd be great. But I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more gaming videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.